I referenced this earlier. So Deshaun Watson um, last week was on a, um, or a sh radio show with uh, Quincy Avery. It's the Q with Quincy Avery. That's his quarterback coach, his personal quarterback coach. On that show, Watson talked about getting back to an elite level. I think it's just going to be work. You know, if people have so much expectations and high expectations and, you know, all that stuff generates from the media. So, you know, I think I don't, I don't take it. You know, sometimes I take it personal. It just depends on, you know, how they speak it. But, like, most of the time I don't really take it personal because that's their job in the media to be able to kind of talk good, bad, whatever they want to talk about. But when I look at it that way, people thinking that, oh, I fell off or, you know, this, that, the third, you know what I'm saying? All it is is they know how good I am and they know the limit I am. So if I don't, you know, reach that standard and the expectation of myself and what I can play at, then, of course, it's going to be a failure. You know what I'm saying? So for me, it's really just going ahead and, and putting the work each and every day. You know, not worrying about all that stuff. You know, I hear it. I see it. But that stuff ain't going to bother me. That's what they, that's their job. You know what I'm saying? I like when people underestimate me. You know, because when that shit happened, you know, that's when I, you know, I take it to a whole nother level. So for me coming into this year from, from day one, I got to go hard. I got to train hard. You know what I'm saying? And, and have everybody around me at the same level. And once we do that, we can make something special for people. And uh, I feel like we got the team, we got the people, and we just got to, you know, fill in the pieces. And once we get rolling, we're going to be rolling. Quincy, there's a whole lot of national doubt with uh, quarterback rankings and stuff, so um, let's hope it does, in fact, motivate Sean Watson like he says it will. Yeah, I mean, like, there's going to be doubt when you're the Cleveland Browns, period, because you just haven't been good in, like, the last 25 years. There's no goodwill built up nationally or locally uh, for that matter. So until people see you do it consistently, they will always kind of not believe that you can do it. That's not necessarily biased as much as it is, like, you know, if somebody keeps losing for 20 years, how like how how many of us are like, yeah, the Lions are going to be able to do it because they don't win either. Right. Like, so it's just kind of the bet we've made for the last 20 years. We're going to be doubted until uh, something changes. And Deshaun was brought in to be that change. Um, then things will change. But, you know, it's kind of like with the Bengals, right? Bengals weren't respected before they got Joe Burrow two years into that Joe Burrow, two full seasons into the Joe Burrow thing. Now we respect the Bengals everywhere outside of Cleveland. But, you know, it, it's one of those things to where you got to prove it to everybody before you can get that kind of benefit of the doubt. And people are going to assume that everything the Browns do is going to fail because that's been a safe bet for a very long time. Let's hope that those fortunes change.